the world is getting closer and that's why the individual is becoming actually more important, particularly for contemporary Asian art. I've been in this business for 20 years and I still have only 10 artists. Even though they are so different, and somehow I feel when they are in the same place, in the same house, they all go together. I think this is a very important aspect of how I select the artist. When I look at this art hanging here every day, looking at this every day, yes, my reaction to the art is different. And sometimes I find something quite different a year later. The art did not change at all. You know, it is actually me. My observation changes. And I think it is also true with uh, many of the collectors and uh, my clients have the artwork in their home, depending on their own mood and their own emotions, that you know, the artwork reacted uh, differently. That's the beauty of artwork and uh, that's the, where the extension of the artwork is almost like a you know, family. You are living with them together every day. They are not the same person every day and every time. We all change. There is a life. We adapt to it. And uh, I think a beautiful art it, uh, should be moving on and uh, the life has to be connected with the viewers so that it touches our eyes and our heart. From the beginning, it was uh, quite different that I cannot go after that speculative market. I have to find the people who genuinely likes my uh, artist that I, I presented here, so that I have to be very selective, honest, and objective on my feeling about the art. It is the, my own commitment, my own real belief that this is a truly a beautiful work. It is the communication we go through, building the trust. It's not only just the art, but it is the, my gallery and it's uh, how I conduct, uh, how I service the people, how I make the connection with the people. That is extremely important in this business.